Roberts. Yes. Congratulations. The quest for a hat trick of World Seniors titles is well and truly underway. And you must have enjoyed that one. Well, believe it or not, I did, actually. I really enjoyed it. Um, I felt quite comfortable up there and I was quite happy to where they were going. One or two dodgy ones, but everybody has them. First two sets are averaging nearly 98. We haven't seen that for you from a while this year. So, so what, what's kind of changed? Or is it just that winner's mentality coming back to defend the title has flipped the switch? I've been absolutely hammering that board this last week. As I said, I injured my arm a couple of weeks ago. Um, I took it a couple of hours a day. And then the last week, I've been absolutely hammering the dartboard. And I f- I'm, I'm feeling good. For your standards, it's been a difficult 12 months since winning here. Yeah. Um, how have you reacted to that? How have you tried to put that right? Um, more grit and determination. Just don't give in. Just keep going. Keep playing. If they're going to go, they're going to go. If they don't, well, you've got the next one. A far in the belly being written off. Obviously, there's a few new names in it this year and people talking about it. fellow Scotsman, John Henderson, Richie Burnett. Has that, has that given you a little bit? Hang on a minute. I'm still top dog. The fire in the belly never goes, mate. Never goes. You always want to keep winning. That's it. The fire in the belly stays there. If you were to win it again for the third time, would this be the best one because of the strength in the field this year? To be honest with you, no, I think the best one was the first one. The inaugural one, the very first one. Um, but win it, winning it for a third year with the, the quality of the field, and I'm not taking nothing away because the quality of the field the last couple of years have been brilliant as well, um, winning it for a third time would be absolutely exceptional. We saw what it meant to you up there. It was a massive celebration when, when that when double two that, when, that went, when it when it went in. Does it show what the World Seniors means to you? It just shows what darts means to every serious dart player out there. Not just me. I mean, it's I got there now. Whether I win a leg or not, I mean, I'm celebrating. It's do you know what I mean? It's I am. I do what I do. People do what they do, and. I think it means a lot to everybody. Everybody wants to win it. Well, many congratulations. Thank you, Rick. Robert, that was a game played at a ferocious pace. Did that, shoot, did that suit your best game? I think at some stage I was thrown a little bit too quick. Um, and then I kind of had to check myself a little bit in a couple of legs and just slow down a little bit. And then I think I slowed down a little bit too much. And then I found my happy medium in it. That's 11 games I've beaten now in the World Seniors Championship. Does it feel like it's going to take a special performance to strip you of this title? Well, I'm not going to give it up lightly, so <laughs> they're going to have to play well. Yeah, I mean, barring me throwing a disaster, they're going to have to play well to beat me. Tough condition, conditions up there with the lighting and the heat, but you seem to cope with it really well, considering. Uh, no, if you heard me when I come off, no. <laughs> it's absolutely boiling up there. It's really bright, but it's, it's absolutely boiling. But, listen, it's a small stage. What can you do? Andy Hamilton will be up next for you. He's had a bye. Do you think having that game... Will, will benefit you? Not necessarily. Um, Andy will have more fire under his belly now because he's had a day off, he's had more practice and stuff, so whatever happens tomorrow happens. Cheers, Rob. Rob, do you feel like this is the most open seniors world championship we've had? Oh, it definitely is. If you look at the field, oh, definitely. I mean, it's this field's absolutely amazing. And do you know what? You've got to lift yourself to the occasion. You've got to try and keep going. Your aspirations for this year, have you set yourself any targets you want, you want to achieve and, and whereabouts are you going to be playing? I want to win as many seniors as I can. Um, but I, I dare say we all want to do it anyway. So, but this should be first one. If I don't get this one, then I'll aim my target for the next one. Is the seniors very much top of your priority this then? It is this year, yeah, definitely. I mean, I want to retain titles at, and I want to get titles back, do you know what I mean? So I want to keep going and do what I do. We saw obviously the, the Premier League darts, PDC Premier League up in up in Glasgow last night. Terrific atmosphere. Does it make you miss it at all? To be honest with you, no, because when you come to places like this, I mean, even though it's a small crowd, but it still sounds as loud, you know what I mean? Mm. And yeah, I do I do miss it, but to be honest with you, I don't think I could do all the travelling again. Mm.